Hi everybody, welcome to the Nitty Witch Podcast, episode two. I am Vanessa Nitty Witch on Instagram and Ravelry. You can find me on Etsy at Nitty Witch Shop or at nittywitch.com where I sell handmade stitch markers and knitting notions. I'm coming to you from Dover, Delaware, where I live with my fiance, our combined children, and my dog, Zeus. I wanna thank everyone from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, for liking my posts, for following my Instagram. I've received nothing but positive feedback and the love that you guys have given me just really validates why I'm doing this and makes me wanna share more with you. So thank you so much for that. And because of that, we're gonna be doing a giveaway. I have hit 150 subscribers and I said that when I hit 100 subscribers that I was going to do a giveaway. So we're going to do that, which is so exciting. So what I want you to do for this giveaway is I want you to leave me a comment on this post telling me which of my stitch markers in my shop you would like to win. It's on you. <laughs> You're picking your prize. And also... It kind of tells me a little bit about you. My stitch markers are themed, so I'm kind of interested to see what you'll choose, and then I can throw in some extra goodies based off of that idea. So I'll be putting together a giveaway package, and you go ahead and comment down below which of my sets that you would like to win. Nittywitch.com or Nittywitch Shop on Etsy. So let's get into it. There's a couple places that you're gonna be able to find me this fall season. I'm participating in a couple different make-alongs and I'm gonna go through those with you now. So the first make-along that I'm going to be involved in is the fall garment make-along from the Love & Stitches podcast with Nitty Natty. So Nitty Natty has the Love & Stitches membership group that you can pay monthly to join and there are all sorts of fun things that we do. We do Zooms, there's always a Zoom going every day. We have a Discord where we chat with each other. We say good morning, we say good night, we share our life experiences together, we share our day and it really is a beautiful community that she's built for us. And I'm really appreciative about that and I love being a part of it. So I'll be doing her fall garment make along and I think that starts, don't quote me on any of these days because I am a scattered mess. I barely hold it together on a normal day. So I will get you all the information that I can through linking it in the description box. So the fall garment make along does run through September. I'm not sure when it ends, but I'll be knitting a sweater for that. And the sweater that I'll be making for the fall garment make along is Post Grad by Alicia Plummer. Alicia Plummer is one of my favorite designers. I love her aesthetic. I've not knit one of her patterns yet, so I'm super excited to try this. So I'll be knitting Post Grad, which is a cardigan. I don't really knit many pullovers. I'm definitely a cardigan type girl, but it is out of worsted weight, and I'll be using Neighborhood Fiber Company in their studio worsted. It's 100% superwash merino. 400 yards and it's an eight ounce skein. So it suggests a US size six, seven. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the colorway name. The colorway name is Cooper Circle and it's this gorgeous like tonal red that matches my hair, which I'm super excited about. And this also goes with the coordinating black. So it is I'll be throwing pictures up on the screen of all the sweaters, so you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. So here we go. That's what I'll be knitting that out of. I'm really excited to knit this. These are right up my alley, these colors, so I can't wait to get that started. I'll be starting that as soon as I finish my slip extravaganza, which I will talk about here in a second. So you can also find me doing the shawlography make along with Stephen West that starts in October. I have, I had so much fun picking out the yarn for this. I've not done one of his knit alongs before. I'm doing the slip extravaganza right now out of, I mean, not out of, I'm doing it after the fact. So let me show you my slip extravaganza. And I know I'm bouncing all over the place, but that's kind of how I am. So I'm just gonna go with it, especially since this is about the seventh time I've tried to do this video and I've messed it up thus far. 
So we're just gonna roll with the punches this time. So here is my slip extravaganza that's almost finished. I am at, I couldn't, well, I'm in the middle of a row because at about 900 plus stitches a row, I'm always in the middle of a row. So I am at the bottom right here where I am doing these triangles and I'm on the blue and I have purple left to go. So once I'm done with the purple, I will have the I card, I cord bind off from hell, I've been told. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I am really looking forward to shawlography. Ooh, I just hit the camera. Hope no one got motion sickness. But yeah, I'll be doing shawlography and it's gonna be tons of fun. I'd love to hear who's joining in this knit along. Um, it seems that it is bigger than I thought it was. It's a huge deal and I can't wait to have that community and knit it at the same time as everyone in a mystery form, not knowing what I'm knitting. But let me show you the yarn. I was gonna show it at the end, but let me just show you the yarn that I picked up for this shawl. So I'm gonna be using Dream in Color in their Smushy Cashmere Base. Look at these colors. I told you guys, my colors are pink, purple, and teal. <laughs> it's, he suggested five contrasting fingering weight skeins of 100 grams. And I was at first gonna do like, at first I was gonna do like a fade with a little pop there. And then I realized that that wouldn't contrast enough. So I threw in the purple and the teal. And this is good. This is what I'm going to be using to knit shawlography. So I'm excited for that. So that'll be tons of fun. The other place that you'll find me is at the Downseller Studios podcast Pigskin Party. I have never done this before. It is a knit along that runs through football season and you gain points based on how much yardage you knit, if you recruit people to your team and all sorts of fun activities. So it's gonna be great. You'll be knitting at the same time as everyone else. You're separated into teams. I am team 19. So I'm looking forward to meeting everyone on my team. If you're on team 19, let me know. I'm super excited. We're gonna kick butt this season, right? So that's where I'll be for that. That runs, you know what? I'm not entirely sure. I, don't, I do know it runs in September and it starts in September. I think it's September 9th. I'm not sure the date. Like I said, don't check me on the dates. I'll link it down below. You can find all that information at Boston Jen's website. She is Boston Jen one on Instagram, and she has a Ravelry group for Downseller Studios podcast, which is where all of the information for the Pigskip party can be found. The last thing that I'll be doing is the Spooky Socks Make Along that is hosted by Moon Glow Yarn Co., Crazy Sock Lady, and Nitty Natty of the Love and Stitches podcast. This is a knit along that runs October 1st through the month of October, and it is to knit a spooky pair of Halloween socks, which, hello, Halloween is my thing. Of course I'm gonna knit Halloween socks, and I have just the yarn to do it. Now, Natalie and Kay have both picked out a set of yarn from Moon Glow Yarn Co. They each have their own coordinating sock set. One of them is like a haunted garden and it's got pinks and beautiful grays in it. And then another one from K is more vibrant and more bright with a little pops of color in it. So they're both gorgeous. I will be using this. This is yarn from Harverlands. I picked it up at Fiber Space in Alexandria, Virginia when I was visiting down there. I do this thing where I get bored. I have off about Sunday through Wednesday, so I have a lot of time off. And I get bored and I say, where do I wanna go today? And what do I wanna do? And a lot of times it's a yarn store. Alexandria, Virginia is only about an hour and 40 minutes from me, so it's not a bad ride at all. And I could walk around the downtown area there and it makes for a beautiful day. So I will be, this is the Spooky Socks Make Along. 
for October, Knitting Addy Crazy Sock Lady. You can find more information on their pages, which I will throw up on the screen and link below. All right, I took notes this time so that I wouldn't be all over the place. I'm gonna share with you a couple things that are in my queue that I have next up on my needles. As soon as I'm done with these make-alongs, I have a few things planned that have been in my queue and I want to knit them. I have the yarn for them and I wanna get them out and on my body. So the first thing that I would like to knit is the Like a Cloud Cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. Sorry for crinklies. I have purchased this yarn from Firefly Fibers, which is a yarn shop in Wisconsin that I went to when I visited my friend Wanda. And I picked up this Birch Hollow Fibers Morrison MCN sock, 80 Superwash Merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon, 430 yards for 100 grams. Look at how gorgeous this pink is. Now the pattern is knit with mohair and I think it holds two strands of mohair together. This is not a secret. All that information can be found in Ravelry on her information page. Um, it's two strands of mohair, I believe, and I am substituting the two strands of mohair with one strand of fingering because I just feel like mohair underneath my arms and stuff like that isn't really going to feel good to me. Um, I can't confirm that, but I don't want to knit a whole sweater and then figure it out after the fact. So I'm going to go with what I know and what I'm comfortable with. And I'm going to use the fingering weight yarn in this beautiful blush colorway. The next thing that I want to make that's also from Hohi Locatelli is the super bulky grandpa cardigan. I'll be making this out of Malabrigo Rasta in the Valentino colorway, Valentina colorway. I know you can obviously a trend, see a trend here with all of the pinks. <laughs> I love rainbows and I love pink and teal and purple. <laughs> I know I said that already. I'm so goofy. So here we go. Here's the super bulky that I'll be using for that. I'm very excited about this. I want to say that it's going to take me five minutes to knit. Let's hope. It's super bulky, right? Like how long can that take? It should be a quick knit. So I'm hoping that this is a quick knit and I'm super excited about it. So that's in my queue. That is the super bulky grandpa cardigan by Hohi Locatelli. The next thing that I want to knit is something that you may have seen before. And I say that because if you watch my first podcast, then you would have seen my Bay Heaven Cardigan by Kimberly McElinden. I knit it out of Yarn Cafe Creations in a beautiful blue colorway. So now I have this yarn from Into the World. It is their Into the World Sport Weight. And this is called Saratoga Sport. It's three ply 100% superwash merino and this is called as one does and this is this beautiful blush pink with these specks of burgundy and brown and it is so beautiful so when I bought this yarn I bought this yarn to make the rose cardigan by Andrea Maori when I started the rose cardigan I realized that the rose cardigan is actually reverse stockinette reverse stockinette while beautiful took away from the beauty of the speckles in the yarn. I was knitting it and it was really hiding the beauty of what they created when they dyed it. So I frogged it and then I started knitting. <laughs> I'm laughing because this is such a story. I started knitting the Palm the Pin Cardigan by Amy Christophers. It is a sweater that I've knit before it was actually my first sweater that I ever knit, and it was not easy. Uh, the pattern is intermediate to advanced, I would say, because she doesn't hold your hand and she leaves a lot of information for you. She assumes that you know certain things as a sweater knitter. And as a new knitter, that 
wasn't really the case, so I struggled to knit that sweater. Well, I started it with this yarn and it was looking gorgeous. I was struggling with the pattern a little bit again, but I figured it out based on my previous notes. And then I got to the divide because it's a bottom up sweater where you divide into three parts like you always do for a bottom up sweater. And what I did was I knit the left side on the right side and the right side on the left side because I looked at the wrong instructions. I completely did this, like no one to blame but myself. I completely made this mistake and because it was lace and because I didn't throw in a lifeline and because I was so upset, I frogged the whole thing. <laughs> I frogged the whole sweater and it was like, I'm done. So I won't be knitting that pattern anymore and that has nothing to do with her. That has to do with me. So back to, circle back to the Bay Heaven cardigan. The Bay Heaven cardigan is a sport weight cardigan and I absolutely love the construction of it. I love the length. It's everything I want in a sweater and it shows off yarn beautifully. So I think I will be making another Bay Heaven cardigan. Now, let me know, do you guys knit a pattern more than once? Because I do. There's been a couple patterns I've been known to knit two or three different times because I love them so much and I knit them in different yarns and for gifts and stuff. So let me know if that's something you do, but it's definitely something that I do. And I think that that's what this is going to be made into. So yeah, so those are all the things that I'll be working on, all the places you can find me knitting along. And now I'm going to show you some acquisitions. So like I said, I get bored and I take trips to yarn stores. So I took a trip up to Do You Knit in Jersey, which is about two and a half hours from me. And I picked up their limited, well, you know what? Let me not say it's limited. It's exclusive to the yarn shop and it is their unicorn spin cycle yarn. I could scream, it's so pretty. I am so happy that I went to the store to look at these because they do vary from skein to skein and I was able to pick four skeins that kind of looked the same, which if you're ordering them online, I'm sure the girls at the store do their best to put them together, but they are unique and they're, they are dyed in, I'm sorry, they are 100% American wool, super wash, 200 yards sport weight. A D unit exclusive. And I'm going to say they're hand spun. I don't know if they're hand spun, but they're spun in such a way that they're varied. But I love them. I cannot think yet of what I'm going to do with them, but I'm happy to have them if a pattern calls for it because I'll know exactly what spin cycle ones I'll be using. Which will be these. Do You Knit was a beautiful yarn store with a beautiful selection of hand dyed yarns. It's one of my favorite places to go. She carries Hohi Locatelli bags. She carries Katrinkles stitch markers. It's really a great place and I absolutely enjoy every visit every time I go. The last thing that I picked up at my local yarn store, which is the Yarn Maven in Smyrna, Delaware, is this cute little baby sweater kit. Now my brother is having a baby and my other, okay, so huh, last episode, my brother is having a baby and I knit a baby sweater for my nephew Ronan. Fast forward, my brother Michael is also having a baby and we don't know what it's gonna be yet. I'm hoping it's gonna be a girl because I bought this adorable kit from my local yarn store from West Yorkshire. Look at how adorable this is. It's like a little teddy bear cardigan. This is from Sirdar. This is the yarn and it is their Snuggly Boucle in this beautiful dusty lavender colorway. So because I am not a paper pattern person, hmm, Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. <laughs> I am not a paper pattern person because a lot of patterns don't um, come printed. 
out. I was gonna, so most of them come digitally. And to me, I use Knit Companion. So what I'll be doing is I will be taking a picture. Well, not taking a picture. So what I do is I use my iPhone and I scan the pattern and then I convert the pattern to a PDF, save it to my phone, upload that sucker in a Knit Companion and it's good to go just like all my other patterns. So that is a little handy thing that you can do with Knit Companion that I'm not sure everyone knew, but if you didn't, there's a little tip for you. So hopefully my brother is having a girl. If not, it's not a problem. I'll go back to the store and I will get a neutral color. Not that purple isn't a neutral color, but I know my brother's taste and they're into more like earthy tones. So I'll probably get like a brown or a cream for a baby boy. So that'll be a lot of fun to knit. I'm excited. I got some time on that one. Um, my local yarn store is one of my favorite places to go. Sue, who owns it, has created a beautiful space for knitters to get together and knit. And she has this table in the middle that everyone can sit down at and bring their works in progress, shop a little bit, spend time together, Wednesday night, knit night. It's a really, really beautiful place. And I love being there. So that's my local yarn store, The Yarn Maven. If you're ever in town in Delaware, <laughs> And for those of you who don't know where Delaware is, don't feel bad. I didn't know where it was either until I got stationed here. It's like attached to Maryland. It's like the little boot of Maryland by the bay. Delaware is like little Maryland. <laughs> so it's south of Jersey. You can drive through the state of Delaware probably in about two hours north to south. Less than two hours north to south. That's how small we are. But I love it here. It's got beautiful weather. I mean, I really can't complain. So... Let me see, what else do I have to share with you? I don't think I have anything else to talk about. Talk about a couple things in life since I have a little bit of time. I have been knitting and knitting and knitting and working and working and working. I work at a hair salon and I work with my best friend, which is a blessing. Like who gets to do that, you know? I get to work with my best friend. I have fun. We have a great time. Every day is a new experience. We get to make someone beautiful. So I do that Thursday, sometimes Wednesday, but I do that Thursday through Saturday. And then the rest of my week is spent either learning or knitting. <laughs> so there's a couple things that I'm listening to. I'm listening to the Shadow Hunters series on my Audible. Shadow Hunters is from the movie Mortal Instruments City of Bones. I don't know if anyone has seen that horrible movie. <laughs> I say it's horrible because everyone tells me it's bad. I actually liked it because I can see past a crappy movie and can kind of see like if the story is going somewhere I kind of fall in love with that. I'm easily entertained. So the Shadow Hunter series is from a book by Cassandra Clare, I believe. And it's really geared towards teens, but I read a lot of young adult and I'm, I say read, but I'm listening, but um, I do enjoy young adult novels. I enjoy fantasy. I enjoy horror. Like for me, I want someone's face getting ripped off in like the first five minutes of me reading. <laughs> like I want the whole zombie apocalypse to go down, everyone to run around screaming, ah, what do I do? <laughs> and that's why I'm twisted. So yep, that's what I'm reading. Um, I've just been spending time with my family and living the good life, right? What else can you do? So before I go, I want to leave you guys with an inspirational quote because I feel like on the internet, there's a lot of negativity and I'm all about what can I do to make someone else's day better? How can I make someone smile? How can I bring joy and light into someone's darkness? So I want to leave you with a quote that I found on the internet and it says, don't change yourself so that other people will like you. Be yourself so that the right people will love you. I found that to be just profound. So guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you in a couple weeks time. Thank you all for tuning in. If you like my video, please subscribe down below and I will see you next time. So don't forget, be beautiful, be you, and make magic wherever you go. Bye guys. <music>